Russia is known for its literary greatness. And what you just heard from the Russian ambassador showed more imagination than Tolstoy or Chekhov. So to a certain extent, you could even say it's a little bit strange it has taken for so long, you know. I think it's a sign, certainly, of where women are going in societies around the world. In the Security Council, we have a very important uh, resolution, 1325, uh, um, and which speaks about uh, uh, the importance of having women participate uh, in also the resolution of conflicts and their role, uh, empowerment of women. It's the first time, particularly when Luxembourg was presiding, at the front of the table, this, this round thing here, you had three women sitting right in front. And that is a very powerful message, I think, for those who are not there yet, who have to struggle every day for their basic rights. The issue about gender should help the world in its quest for peace, for security, and for development. We are women uh, from different uh, countries, regions, cultures. Obviously, we all represent our countries in certain uh, positions of our governments, so uh, being a female does not change that. However, there's, I've noticed there's a difference in uh, approach to problems. And that is, instead of immediately coming up and, and talking about our government position and immediately sort of presenting, we try to look at problems and see how we can change that. We question certain things that have been ongoing. We try to approach them as a group. We have a group called the G31, and we have dinner together and coffee together, and we, we brainstorm together to see if there are things that we can do as a group uh, within the United Nations. We share in a strong manner, the human rights agenda and the humanitarian issues. Now that there are five women, uh, could there be a difference in, in the way we approach issues of conflict? I think it's extremely important, definitely, to be sending that message and to make sure that what we do as permanent representatives uh, reinforces that message of women's empowerment and opportunities that have to be given uh, to women no matter where they come from, no matter where they live. The agenda is adopted. Any nation that does not fully utilize half of its human resource is running on one foot. I give the floor to the representative of Argentina. We share and push every day the agenda uh, fighting against impunity, the support of ICC, when I first uh, was informed that I was going to be uh, named by the president to be ambassador of the United Nations, I was thrilled. One of the first people I called was Madeleine Albright, and I asked her for advice about what she uh, did when she got up here and what she would recommend I do. And she said that uh, when she got in the job, one of the first things she did was convene all the women ambassadors in the United Nations. Each one of us has her own character, her own per personality, but we do all uh, respect each other. We have a lot of uh, friendship amongst each other and we encourage each other a lot. Thank you, Madam President. Madam President. Thank you, Madam President. Merci, Madame la Présidente. Thank you, Madam President. Thank you, Madam President.